Hello and welcome to this week's Vaticano Updates, the most important news from the Holy Father and the Vatican. In his message for Diocesan World Youth Day, Pope Francis urged young people to follow Blessed Carlo Acutis in prioritizing the great gift of the Eucharist. He highlighted how Carlo made daily prayer before the Eucharist his most important appointment. And he drew strength from his faith during this journey. The next Diocesan World Youth Day will be celebrated on November the 24th, which is also the Solemnity of Christ the King in Catholic dioceses worldwide. Exiled Nicaraguan Bishop Rolando Alvarez is slated to be among the participants in the second and last session of the Synod on Synodality, set to take place at the Vatican next month from October the 2nd to the 27th. The Bishop of Matagalpa, known for his defense of human rights and also his harsh criticism of the Nicaraguan dictatorship, went into exile in Rome on January the 14th. Pope Francis definitively ruled out the possibility of visiting France for the reopening of the Notre Dame Cathedral. French President Emmanuel Macron invited Pope Francis to visit Paris for the long-awaited reopening of the historic cathedral, which is set to take place on December the 8th, the Solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. In 2019, Notre Dame was damaged by a fire that devastated the 315-foot-tall oak spire and timber roof of the 8th-century-old cathedral. Pope Francis will visit Luxembourg and Belgium next week for a one-day stopover in Luxembourg on September the 26th before visiting three cities in neighboring Belgium to mark the 600th anniversary of the Catholic universities of Leuven and leuven la neuve The Holy Father will preside over a Sunday Mass in Brussels on September the 29th before heading back here to Rome. Thank you for watching this week's Vaticano Updates. In Rome, Andreas Tonhauser for EWTN Vaticano.